When a friend tells you about a great local spot or a new cafe in town, you give it a try, right? Well, that's exactly how Aiken became a popular destination. Hey there, I'm Lindsay Vance with Real Broker, and on today's episode, I'm gonna highlight some of the great things that Aiken is well known for. While many people know Aiken, South Carolina as a popular spot for recreation, history, horses, and hospitality, it actually started as a railroad town as early as 1835. It was built as the conclusion of the South Carolina Canal and Railroad Companies. It was at the time the longest running railroad going from Charleston down to the Savannah River outside of Augusta, Georgia. The rail line, which ended right in downtown Aiken, carried the very first steam-powered passenger train in the U.S. If you've seen photos of Aiken, I know you've seen this iconic street. South Boundary Avenue is one of my favorite pieces of Aiken's history and how this street became what it is today. A prominent local businessman and philanthropist, Mr. Henry Dibble, was accustomed to riding down South Boundary Avenue on his way to downtown from work to his home in Montmorency. Not only did he want to beautify the way into Aiken, but also to pay it forward to his love of the town for future generations. Mr. Dibble approached the mayor at the time with a plan that he would make a large donation toward the planting of live oaks along South Boundary if the city would provide matching funds. Now, over a century later, those seeds have flourished into one of Aiken's greatest treasures. Now that we've made our way down South Boundary Avenue, headed into downtown, let's talk about historic downtown. It's so charming with the parkways lined with trees and walkways, as well as our downtown shops and restaurants. The streets of downtown Aiken are made up of beautiful one-way streets, squares, and circles. It makes the downtown area wildly charming and beautiful but also a challenging drive for first-time visitors. It can be confusing to see drivers making left turns on red lights or even going straight through the red light. The local saying is, circle go, square no. But when in doubt, just wait for the green light and stay safe. Although Aiken was founded a century and a half after the oldest city in the state, talking about Charleston, Aiken actually has the oldest farmer's market in the state. It's open on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, but you better get there early so that you can get what you want. The Aiken County Farmer's Market is designated on the city's historic register, and it offers a wide variety of fresh produce from local farmers in the region, such as fruit, beans, tomatoes, corn, and much more. Visitors can also find several vendors selling cheeses, meats, and different baked goods. The farmer's market in Aiken first started more than 50 years ago and is a favorite place for locals where recipes and conversations are shared. The real estate in Aiken is considered a unique market. You can find everything here from a traditional single family home to a historic cottage nearing 100 years old and even equestrian farms and estates, as well as easy living like a townhome or a loft right over the shops downtown. My favorite spot to show off our unique real estate is on the dirt roads right in the middle of downtown. It's known as the Historic District, or some call it the Horse District. There are more than 30 historic homes on the National Registry in Aiken. Did you know that a respectable cottage in Aiken of the winter colony days had at least 22 rooms? A great way to see some of these homes, from the road of course, is to take the trolley tour. It's one of my highest recommendations to people when they're visiting. You can catch the trolley tour on Saturday mornings at the Aiken County Visitor Center and Train Museum. Now as you make your way navigating through town, you might see signs with horses on them for horse crossing, or the best spot is at Grace Avenue where you can actually have pedestrian crossing for horse and rider. That's right, the traffic actually stops so horses and their riders can cross the street and go right into Hitchcock Woods. Of course, there is no doubt that Aiken is horse country. Downtown is filled with equestrian life from polo fields to racetracks, carriage driving, and formal horse show facilities. 
Did you know that polo was played in Aiken as early as 1882, just six years after the game was introduced in the US? A unique part about Aiken is Whitney Polo Field, which is the longest consecutive period of play on one field in the US. Sporting life in Aiken is one of our biggest attractions because you can enjoy it pretty much all year round. You'll find everything from golf to paddling the Savannah River, equestrian sports, racket sports, and a ton more. There's no question about it that golf is an easy match to riding as the rival favorite sport. Did you know that we're only 18 miles from the Augusta National where the Masters Golf Tournament takes place? I'm talking to the golf lovers out there. The Palmetto Golf Course, founded in 1893, is almost as old as golf itself in America, and it's right here in Aiken. We also have Highland Park Country Club, was designed and opened in 1903, now known as Aiken Golf Club. We have other courses including Sage Valley, Midland Valley, both near Graniteville, then Hounds Lake, Woodside, Cedar Creek, and among many others. Now here's something that is unmatched to anywhere in the world. Aiken is home to the largest privately owned urban forest in the US. It's known as Hitchcock Woods. It's truly the best gem right in the middle of downtown Aiken. If you look at a map of Aiken, you'll see a big green spot right in the middle of downtown. That's the woods. It expands out more than 2,100 acres with 70 miles of sandy trails. Here, you'll cross paths with people hiking, walking dogs, horseback riders, and even bird watchers and history buffs. There are no motor vehicles or bicycles allowed. The woods are owned and managed by the Hitchcock Woods Foundation and are open to the public and free to explore. Imagine having a beautifully preserved forest essentially right in your backyard. Now for those of you who love your gardening and greenery, we can't forget about one of the most iconic spots in downtown. Hopeland's Gardens is a 14 acre estate that at one point was part of the Winter Colony and then donated to the city of Aiken in 1969. Two of the best times to visit Hopeland's Gardens is in the spring when everything is in bloom and the most popular time is in the winter during Christmas at Hopeland's. People come from all over the state to enjoy the lights surrounding the beautiful gardens. The best part about Christmas at Hopeland's, the event is free. This is a stunning location for taking photos, hosting events, or just enjoying being outside. Aiken offers its visitors and residents a great slice of history and small town personality. It was even voted as the best small town in the South by Southern Living. Now this was just a small handful of what Aiken is known for. You definitely have to make a visit for yourself to check it out and have the experience. I'm Lindsay Vance and look forward to seeing you next time on Living in South Carolina.